Hello and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Yes, we have constructed our mini base next to this abandoned base and we're gonna be going exploring a little bit more, figuring out what there is and our next... Oh, hydration low, you don't say. Oh, I should probably crafting uh, a bottle. Hold on, I have tons of water bottles on the other side in my old habitat. So I'm actually gonna go there and I'm gonna be picking up some more, you know, water and food, because we are using this as a starting for exploration, but we could all be doing so much more. Right, so let us go all the way there, and I think the next thing will be set up an additional suite of all the, you know, machines. Okay, here we have some seeds, some iron, we can take this, but... I think the main thing now is to grab ourselves some food and drink and then we're gonna be starting exploring more Here is our old base the one that we've you know started building the humble beginnings one and um, Yeah, and by the way special thanks and shout out to one of uh, my commenters Radoslav Mazurek for telling me that you can actually hold uh, control for even spacings. I didn't know that. Thank you very much. Okay, Snapea seed. I'm going to pick up a bunch of these. And then I'm going to be taking some space food. One space water. We have one oxygen. I'll leave these be for the time being. Eggplant seeds. I think we already have some over there. So actually, no, wait. I'm going to drink the water. I'm going to eat the food. And I'm going to have one water in addition. Right. And while I'm here, I might actually go exploring in that direction because I don't have a freaking clue what that's supposed to be there. And maybe there is some important materials that I could be using for crafting or whatever. So yeah, it doesn't hurt. Oh, look, two blue boxes, one of them being there and one of them being to the right. So I'm, let's first check out this one. Typically, when I empty out the box, I want to be picking up, but you never know. Okay, blueprint chip and water that's definitely we're gonna take iridium yes the rest we leave for now because the rest isn't that all important however i am gonna go down this route because oh this looks like a cool area hold on okay what else do we have super alloy another water bottle this is we leave alone all right fair enough another one here i'm just hunting chips and whatnot and if i find a suitable base i might as well you know cloth aluminium water bottle needed these two you know what to hell with it i think i'm gonna create a small base here just for the sake of it because this looks like a completely new area with lots of crates worth investigating so we're gonna be placing a living compartment right about here and we're gonna be placing the door all right and i'm gonna be placing a crate oh it needs one iron you don't say okay i think we have plenty of iron in the vicinity so that's technically not a problem whatsoever so there we go crate there we go and now we can dump all the excess stuff here at the moment because it doesn't hurt if we place all of these then we can loot other stuff that's around and that's my primary goal for the moment chip will leave here right now let's see what else do we have here that might be worth investigating can we actually no there we don't have a scanner that's not a game oh explosive iridium yes Cobalt, yes. Explosive. Use it to blow up objects. Right click to use. I've never used that. Oh, that might be fun. All right. Uh, good to know. Uh, more explosives. Oh, this guy's really mean business, eh? Okay. What is this? Ah, this is the explosives. Okay. I'm guessing that the storage crate has a chip. Yes. Beautiful. And probably we need to blow up some shit over here because everything is rigged with explosives. Looks like a rover that was carrying over explosives. Maybe this whole area was supposed to blow. Hmm. You know, it kind of blows. Yeah, just kidding. All right. 
looks good enough this is like a brand new area might as well you know take a screenshot for posterity you never know when you're gonna need one but if it says right click to use so how do we do it we do like this uh oh uh oh uh oh i didn't plan like this now what Will it go kaboom? I have no idea. Okay, let's go grab something. <laughs> this was a moment of tension. And it didn't blow yet. It will be funny if I come and it blows up in my face. Oh no, there's a trigger. Ha! Oh, 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 oh! It's counting down! It's counting down! Okay. Maybe this was not a best place to put it. However place next to this let's see how about now run will it go with a big uh, bada boom nope all right fair enough looks like it's all for naught Okay, I'm gonna take two more of these explosives. You never know when you're gonna need explosives. I mean, I never knew I needed them till now, so yeah, whatever. This is dolomite. Might take one. Looks like we have a dust storm over here. I don't care about the storm that much, but I'm really curious what this area has to offer other than a metric crap ton of dolomite and a few chips. I will de be decoding chips, but I'm just now, you know, scouring the area, so to say, and picking up aluminium. Food grower, okay, that's definitely gonna be helpful. Now, let's just quickly check the area. Are there any more interesting ruins around here? Lots of planes, dolomite. It's all the same, and that's what kind of worries me a little bit. I mean, I do have an extra oxygen. Yeah, I do. Okay, fair enough. There is something up there. And there is something to the right here. So, there are areas worth exploring. Now we are exploring really, and I mean big time. Right, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna tier 2 solar panel. What is this? Celio Seed. Oh, third 300 multiplier storage great chip yes please so this episode should probably be called chips galore because we are just collecting a bunch of chips uh, i don't think i have enough materials to build a base nope i don't so i'm gonna have to hoof it back to my old one which is a fair point okay iron what is this? Another iron. Yeah, okay. Let's grab the oxygen bottle. Okay, refilled. It is nice to have an extra oxygen bottle so you don't have to think about all that jazz. Oh, this is something new. Sulfur. Really what I'm gonna do. Okay, I guess this area will be more littered with sulfur. Can I create another base? I need titanium. It would be so cool if we could have, you know, search find titanium because it's kind of not fun, not there is this titanium probably and probably i'm gonna need silicone at some point i'm guessing but that looks to me over there like silicone so if i have these bases littered it means that i'm able to move around freely which is definitely a plus so we're gonna put you right about nya no like this all right and the door i need another piece of titanium okay i don't want to die so might as well start hoofing it back unless i find a, a nice and juicy chunk of titanium quickly is this titanium yes it is good that means i can create the door and enter there and refill myself and nothing bad will happen right so door I should probably be chunking door on the side so I can enter. There we go. Oxygen refilled. Nice. Now, I no longer have the oxygen tank, so I should be a little bit careful about it. But, yeah, picking up some sulfur wouldn't hurt, just so I have it for, you know, research and processing stuff. 
as a rare material silicone let's go up there and see if there is anything else to be picked up i mean i gotta tell them the area looks mighty fine oh is it it's an invisible wall or nope it's not okay fair enough another microchip estera seed titanium i might take one because you never know if i'm gonna need it and i think i am filled with chips so oh there is a container over there are there any new type of materials here what are these sulfur silicone sulfur well my inventory is full that's good that's okay we are gonna hoof it all the way back because i want to be using new materials and see what else i can use them for and craft some more things so i will be going back to my bigger base and hopefully using all of the stuff that i found decoding some blueprint chips and maybe crafting some more tools for myself so i can survive longer yes um i do think that i would want to be creating Wherever I have a bigger base, I want to be creating this machine that, you know, processes this stuff. Uh, the, um, what was it? The ore decomposer or whatever the hell it's called. So, yeah. Okay, but it's kind of fun to have the decompose the, the decomposals. Uh, yeah, apparently I didn't have my morning coffee. Ah, oh, damn it. Okie doke. Now. Yeah, we're gonna go and we're gonna grab another breath of fresh air by that rover and we're slowly gonna hoof it back to our main base. But I like the idea of multiple, you know, stopping points just to refill my oxygen and all that jazz. So, okay, now we know on this area we can find some sulfur and that's handy. That's really important. I'm gonna need to drink my water soon-ish. Is there anything worth here picking up? Not really. Communication antenna and glass. That's wonderful because I'm really looking for... Oh, screen transmissions. Yes. Cool. Apparently we have unlocked quite a bit of those and I think it's really important because now that once we have unlocked we can actually build stuff. I think communications antenna will give us the locator markers, which are also kind of important. So, let's see, we're gonna just go in here briefly. Yeah, everything is going well. Now, let's see, uh, blueprints, let's decode the microchip. What do we have? T2 mining speed, nice. Compass, that's awesome. T2 agility boots, I can move faster, nice. And living apartment corner. Nice. So, uh, do I have any more space? No, I don't. I could really see... Can I craft the exoskeleton new one? No, I can't. Well, that's a bummer, to be honest. Right. All right. So, I guess let's go crafting. Here, first things first, I want to insert ores and I'm going to be inserting the dolomite and let it continue processing. And I think I'm going to die of thirst soon enough. So I might be chugging on this last bottle of water. Last space food, picking up space food, picking up oxygen. Good. And now I want to be going and picking up some ice so I can craft... Oh, now I have a battery lamp. Yay! So I'm gonna go over to the icy area to melt some ice. Because I think ice will be mighty helpful. Oh, and I could actually pick up some dolomite so I can craft the bloody... What's the, the machine? Tier 2 ore crusher. See? And I can do the tier 2 ore crusher now. Snipe a seed. Come on, give me dolomite. More. Yes. Dolomite. Yeah, I think I need three dolomite for the initial one. And then we'll see how much we need for the second one. But I want to be picking up ice now. How much? I only have one ice. Oh, that's not good. I could use another ice. Um, uh, can I eat more space food? Yes, I can. Okay. And that could give me one more ice. Okay. At least I have two ice. So that's something that's beneficial. I'm gonna go... 
back to my main base. Hopefully I should have enough oxygen to get it there in time and not die again a horrible death like a total noob that I am. So let's see if we can go there and then we're going to be doing a little bit of a crafting session, if you will. So that's kind of the plan. Yeah. And I can see the tier two, I think, pressure miner or whatever it's called. And if we go there, then we can actually do some stuff about it. Let's see. Oxygen level up. This time I know. And I'm going to be there soon enough. So don't you worry, son. Oxygen level critical. Yes, but the entryway is here and so is safety. Perfect. Okay, seeds. I drop this and this. All right. Can we craft now? Let's see. Oh, no, that's a crafting station. What do I need to craft the tier two? I need bauxite. I don't have bauxite. Well, I'm just going to go with the dolomite then to start with. And then we're going to continue onwards. We have tier two solar panel, which we can build. Okay, let's first build this fella. So you're going to be helpful. Probably could. Yeah. Okay, let's craft a water bottle that I definitely know I need. Good. And uh, what else did I want to craft that required the agility boots? So, okay, so super materials. We can sort these. I can dump some sulfur here and I could take one of you and dump another aluminium because aluminium we really need. Okay, sort out you guys and explosives I'm going to put here. Hold on, I think I need, I have iridium here. I could create, craft a few more heaters. What do I need to craft a tier 2 heater? I need silicon, titanium, aluminium. I have aluminium. Okay, and I need magnesium, cobalt. Okay, let's pick up one cobalt. Let's, let's construct the tier 2 solar panel. If I craft a tier 2 solar panel, I need magnesium and aluminium. Okay, magnesium and aluminium. Do I have magnesium? Oh, I have aluminium. And then I need magnesium. Magnesium is pretty easy to find, so it should be somewhere around. There it is. And then we craft a tier 2, and then we can craft a screen progress, hopefully soon enough. Okay, let's craft the tier 2 solar panels. And I'm going to decompose those two, and I'm just going to scoot them over there. So that's going to make a nice big boost to our power production. Okay, so there we go. And okay, this should boost our power production greatly. And I'm going to decompose these fellas. There we go. Okay, those are two extra solar panels. So if I create two of them, the rest I can transfer into heaters or something else. So... There we go, let's craft two more. I know, I know it's overly excessive in terms of power. Honestly, I don't care at the moment. Thank you for the control tip, by the way. So how are we overproducing power? We have 59 kilowatts. 1.21 gigawatts? Right, okay. So that being said, how are my, I don't, I do have, I have two more ices. Well, I, if I have two more ice, I could craft another water bottle. Good. So I have two. Fine. Let's go and deconstruct the rest of the solar panels that I found over there. Oh, titanium. Might as well pick it up. And I thought that there was another solar panel. Maybe not. Read the message. Offline. Message says it's offline. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, food, yes. I can take all of those and I'm going to decompose you. Have I enough? I think I have enough to decompose this tier 2 solar panel. And we're going to be transforming you, I think, into tier 1, tier 2 heater while I'm there. So might as well. See, now all the things that we left are actually good, but I still haven't seen any bauxite. And that's kind of interesting. Let's see. Tier 2 heater. I have everything I need and I'm going to be placing one here. I'm going to be producing more heat. Now, uh, they got two. Oh, I could be doing the food grow. I need aluminium. I need one more aluminium. Okay, do I have one more aluminium? I don't think I have. I should go exploring. Okay, let's see. First, what we can craft. We can craft the ore crusher, food grower. 
transmissions. Progress screen. That we should craft. New blueprint received, screen progress. So that's one of our tasks that we should be doing. So that's the progress one. I think this will be a nice place. Current stage going onwards to blue sky. All right, so Baron, we're 18% to going towards the blue sky and that's nice. So which of our branches is, is going the fast? Terraformation, the next one is the locker storage F50. I think we're a good way there. Oxygen, next one would be the veg tube. That would be nice. Next one would be the beacon, helps you find your way and the heat is going to slowly. Pressure would be the nuclear reactor. Well, I think pressure is going way too slow. So I think the best way forward would be to construct some T2 drills and I need iron and titanium. So let's see if I can pick up iron and titanium. Iron and titanium, a little around. Pick up the rest, whatever is present in these boxes. Dolomite, well, I might as well. Iron and titanium, it will be decomposing into something else. And that's okay, because now we have this crusher. And then we're going to be putting a bunch of tier 2 pressure builders. So, uh, all of the dolomite. Yeah, oh, hold on. Okay, this this bothers me. I'm sorry, guys. This bothers me to no avail. I have to be creating tier 2 solar panel, but this one should be pointed that way. There we go. So, back to the business. Collecting iron and titanium, we were saying. So, oh, can I deconstruct the beacon? Nope, I don't know it yet. Storage crate, nothing there. Good. Oh, magnesium. Don't mind if I do. You're empty, which means you're iron. Fine. I think there were some storage crates here. What do we have here? We're just gonna transfer, decompose. Good. Uh, titanium. Okay, we don't have any more. And I think I should be grab gasping for air a little bit. Sooner rather than later. And then we're gonna be creating some pressure thingies. There we go. All right. So, constructing the pressure thingies, T2 drill. Now. Any more? No, I'm missing titanium. Dang it. Do I have more titanium here? Looks like I don't. But I would need a storage crate for just the regular stuff. Okay. Can I construct something more to contribute a little bit more heat? Iridium, silicon, aluminium. I, I don't have aluminium. I, I could be constructing more Vega tubes, or I could be constructing actually the base expansion um, further out. Yes, what I need for that. I need titanium again. Oh boy. Okay, I guess I'm going to go on the search for titanium. Hydration levels low. You don't say. I'm going to pick up Iron and titanium. I want to be creating at least two building components for that. I don't need the silicone. I just need iron and titanium. Dolomite already full? You're kidding me. Okay. Fair enough. I can drink one water. Yes. And I can replace this with this chunk of titanium. Hopefully creating two or maybe even three of the base pieces. So, living compartment. And one more. There we go. That should be much better. So now we should have a lot more space where we can do stuff. Can I go and um, move these thingies? Now, I would really might like to do some reorg. What about this? Iron and cobalt. We could do windows. Oh, you don't say. Okay, so... Um, first things first. Dump as much as I can into crate. Right. Then create another crate. Where is the crate? 
there is a crate. And dump everything else I have in a crate. And then we've got to be picking up the seeds, sadly. I mean, they've been flourishing beautifully, but I need more space. All right. And hold on. Will I have? If I decompose one more, will I actually have? Okay, good. Now, what I plan to do, I plan to construct a little bit of, let's say, you know, a beautiful area. So that's the idea. Now, here we want to be crafting tier 2 Vega tubes as much as I can. One. Put the other one here. Third. There we go. Fourth. I think there should be plenty. And I don't have any more. Good. Now let's see the highest yielding plants that I can muster. So it's Celeo seeds and Furted seeds. Okay, we have two, two. Ain't that nice. So we're going to be placing Celeo seed, Celeo seed, and here we're going to be Furteo seed, and Furteo seed, tier 3 veggie tube, what does that require? Water, silicon cell, aluminium as always, yeah, aluminium is a scarce resource at the moment, because I probably haven't found a reliable way how to make it. However, living compartment window, iron and cobalt. I'm thinking I'm going to do uh, at least one window. Cobalt, iron, cobalt, iron. Correction, two windows. Now, there we go. And I'm looking at the rock. Ain't that grand. I should have probably, in hindsight, I should have probably chosen the better location. Okay, doesn't matter. It gives us a roomy, comfy feeling. Now, tier two heaters. I could create a bunch of, I mean, what do I need here? I need aluminium for this, but here I need ir iridium iron silicone. So iron, silicone, and iridium. I mean, you know, there is no point of not having the heaters and not putting them to good work. So why the hell not? I might create tier one heaters, which later I'm gonna replace with tier two. It doesn't matter. We go and as iron and silicone okay we have ice okay we're gonna be placing the seed let's grab everything from here we're gonna be can i deconstruct the crate no i want to be deconstructing just the crate thank you not this not everything else so, a uh, storage crate should be placed as well by the heater. I'm organizing my space, please don't blame me. Now, I want all of my seeds to go here, super alloys, this, and explosives. And fabric. Fine. You are the crate for ores, I would say. Nice. Fabric shouldn't be here. Fabric should be over here. There we go. Okay, and what do we have here? We are, here we have rare ores. Uh, I'm actually gonna dump here the rare ores as much as I can. There we go. And then we're gonna be deconstructing you. Uh, the constructor, I actually would like to remove the tier 2 crafting station and place it somewhere where it's more accessible to me. Like maybe in this corner, you know. These corners I think are an ideal place because that gives me the capability to take the progress screen and place it here so I have a better overview of the situation. Yeah. Terraform stages. And is there another screen? Terraformation? I need one silicone for that. And I could use one silicone. I would really like to get this screen. Now I'm beautifying my base, so I might as well, you know, put some, put my back into it. Beacon, yes. That's the part that I've been waiting for because that allows us to set the markers. However, we are away, so we're gonna be collecting a 
little bit of dolomite, some titanium, as much as we can, iron obviously if we can find any, uh, magnesium I don't think I need that much, iron doesn't hurt to have it, silicone would be more useful at the moment which is over here which is wonderful some meteorites coming in and there is a box crate i think this whole area i haven't explored but i'm gonna do it soon enough patience is a virtue so they keep telling me let's chunk a bunch of dolomite more inside and do we have anything useful that it's sped out silicone iron yes and there is more of these components. Okay, doesn't hurt. Fine. Now, what did we say that we needed for terraformation screen? Let's see if we can chunk it over there. Like a, like a status screen, if you will. Because the moment you come in, you can immediately see, aha, look, this is how it's going. Fine. Uh, then I would use another table, which is to iron, which actually should work. Assuming this guy, yeah, I'm gonna need to decompose you, ain't I? I really think there should be ability to have two tables, one beside each other. One. Come on, give me another one and tell me that it fits. Oh, you're kidding me. Can I drag it a little bit out then? So it gets one additional space like this and maybe and i then get yeah i can okay that works so blueprints i can chuck right here ish but it's not in the way i can still see everything and energy levels i can still chuck here so i still see everything that's my main goal yeah look at this now this is a mini panel if you will fine now what that tells me is now i could be crafting a bunch more okay beacon is aluminium of course it is and this is aluminium iridium iron silicon i have a few more iridium so i have two more iridium so Iron silicone. Do I have iron and silicone? Uh, I could use a bit more iron, I guess. Locker storage! Yay! It's just iron. I need more iron, I guess. Any more iron? Nope. Okay. Let's then put another tier one heater. There we go. And one more. I need iron for that one. And then I should be putting those there. I don't have iron. I could very well smelt the box and get iron. However, I'm not there yet. I think I have, there is another box over there with iron. And if it's... That's the... Oh, can I smelt now the... These two? Because those are beacons. Come on. Okay, whatever. Would be really nice if I could, you know, decompose those. At least this one is iron. And it has iron. Good. Two iron. You won't see me complaining. Do I have water? Yes, I do. And I'm going to consume it. Beautiful. So, I think this will be a nice upgrade. There we go. Here one heater. We're going to be placing you now on this side. Do I have one more tier one? I could use one more iridium. Do I have one more iridium? No, I don't. I thought I had one. Well, probably I don't have. And that's okay. All right. So, is there anything else I could be building? Veja tubes. I could be building tier two, tier three. I can't. A tier two, I could. If I go and grab myself a little bit of ice from over there. And I think I just might, because ice is useful. Dolomite. I'm gonna go grab me some ice now. And I'm gonna clean out these boxes as, as I'm going along, because those boxes still contain stuff that I could use. See? Iron. I could create a locker even with these. And then these seeds. 
and then I decompose you and then I have rooms for only two pieces of ice. Yes, I know I'm a dumbass. What can I tell you? Is there? No, I can't climb over here. Okie doke. I'm gonna go then over this side. Hopefully see some ice. What is this? Aluminium! Oh -ho! Oh -ho! Aluminium, yes please. Oh, it was probably an asteroid impact. Okay, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat my space food and drink my space water to be able to collect more of, well, ice. I have three pieces of ice. One iron, sure. And then two ice, please. One ice, two ice. Okay, fair enough. I'm full again, which means I should be going back. Oxygen level is low. I know I have an oxygen bottle, so I'm not overly concerned. Oxygen level critical. Yeah, tell you what. Oxygen bottle popping it is. I need to go there and I did need to dump stuff anyway. I could craft a bit few more two more with veggie tubes, I think. At least you know kick in the production. So tier two veg tube. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna be placing you on this end or could i be placing you maybe here make it a little bit more homey feeling you know there we go so what which seed shall i place oh seeds are not there seeds are there cellos yes we're gonna take the cellos always the highest yield one those seeds and we dump the other two seeds back and I, I, can, I could pick up water in exchange for this. And I have dolomite, which I need to dump into this bad boy for decomposition. And do I have room for a cupboard? I hope so. So, locker storage. Yes. Okay, the, you should be for the ores. I'm gonna close you. I'm gonna... Do I have three iron more? Hold on. How many iron do I have? Do I have three iron more? I don't. Uh -huh. That's funny. I need a place to put one. Whatever. I'm going to be picking you, Sunshine. I'm going to be decomposing you. And then I'm going to be picking up all the iron from you. And I'm going to create another locker storage for my rare ores. I know, I know, I'm a, what can I tell you, I'm a sucker for this stuff. So, rare ores, sulfur, uranium, aluminium. Hold on, if I have aluminium, could I create the tier 2, tier 3 veggie tube? Could. And is this an outdoor or indoor thing? Looks like an outdoor thingy. One water bottle, one silic, two silicone. Hmm. All right. Tell you what, to me, this looks like an ideal place to leave it for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.